it's me Serena welcome or welcome back to my channel talking about a couple of hot topics today first of all I'm going to talk you through my hair yes I've got some new hair and I'm going to tell you all about the process I went through of getting hand sewn extensions and just tell you all about that experience and also bras I've gotten a lot of questions from you guys about bras, what bras I recommend or what bras I wear, and a video dedicated to bras. So I'm kind of combining those two things in this video. So hopefully that will answer some questions for you guys. So let's get into it. First, let's talk about the hair. So yes, I look a little bit different. I've got hair that's a lot fuller and a little bit longer so um, I've been contemplating this for quite some time I had had a consult with my beautician about this some time ago she has been certified in the hand tying of extensions for quite some time so I totally trust her and I knew that she's more than qualified to do it she has them herself so I've talked to her about care and maintenance and all the things so I'll try to touch on as much as I can without getting too long-winded but if you have any specific questions just be sure to leave a comment down below and I will answer them best I can so um, what made me want to even think about extensions well my hair when I was young probably much like you my hair was thick it was super thick and it was actually kind of coarse even and it's always been wavy but i've never had stick straight hair and i was just you know always kind of known for having really pretty hair until um you know i don't know at what point i guess in my 30s it started getting thinner you know after having kids my hair texture changed a lot. It was a lot less wavy than it used to be. and But still it looked good. Uh, when it really started getting thin was in my late 40s. I'm 52 now. And uh, just in the past five years, I've really noticed a big change in uh, the texture and the thickness of my hair. So um, I've tried different haircuts, different hairstyles, different things, and short hair does better with fine, thinner hair, but I feel like I look better with a little bit more length on me. Now, I'm not gonna have hair down to my waist or anything like that, but I feel like with the shape of my face and everything, a little bit of length is better. But this last time that I grew my hair out to have a little bit of length, it just did not look good. It didn't look good at all. And um, so I cut it off again. And but then I just decided, you know what, I'm going to give these extensions a try. So, and now I'm wishing that I hadn't had my other hair chopped off. I had just added the extensions. But oh well, you live and you learn. So the brand of extensions that I have, there's tons of different brands, but the brand that I have is called Bombshell. And shout out to Melanie at Eleven Salon in Huntsville. I've been going to Eleven Salon for years. And uh, their motto is, on a scale of 1 to 10, be an 11. So that's why they're called Eleven Salon. Um, She's been doing my color for a long time, and she was able to match me up perfectly with my color to uh, some extensions from Bombshell. And about my hair color, I was blonde when I was a kid. It got darker as I got older, but it was never dark. I've always had blonde hair. Um, and now my hair is 90% white. Yes, white. So the color you see on my hair, it's not um, foils or highlights or anything like that. It is actually color put on my hair to give it a color other than white. So I go with a light blonde because that makes the white or silver blend in a lot easier as the roots grow out as opposed to if I had a darker color and then 
you know, the white roots growing out. So she matched me up and ordered my hair. And the first expense, I know a lot of y'all are going to ask about this. The first expense is the hair. And this is natural human hair. I think the human hair, they get it from different areas in Asia. It's that good hair, the not frizzy hair, but it will curl and everything. And it has been color treated to whatever color you want it to be. And um, so I have five wefts of hair in my head right now. And each weft is about this wide. So they start right here and wrap around the back of my head to right here. And there's five of those. And for this particular brand, it was in the $40 range per weft. So that's $200 in hair and then you have the cost of having them put in and then cut trimmed styled whatever it was either 300 or 350 to have them put in so it's not a cheap proposition especially when you consider that you have to have this done <laughs> every couple of months at the most they recommend that you have them um, removed and, and moved up on your hair every six to eight weeks. Well, I get my color done every seven weeks, so we're going to adjust mine every seven because they're attached to little beads, and I'll insert some pictures up here. What she does first is she sections off my hair, and she goes through and creates these little bundles of hair that are about a finger width apart. And she puts these beads at the base of that little bundle of hair. And she, first she did that all the way around my head. And then she takes this thread that's like a really strong <laughs> yarn or thread and weaves it through those little beads to create a track basically to sew the weft onto. It's the same idea as braided. Uh, weaves you know when you have hair that's braided at the scalp and then a weave is sewn in it's the same concept but instead of doing a braid they use these little beads and create the bundles and install the track and then literally the wefts and the wefts are you know the hair sewn on to a little thing at the top that holds it all together and then she literally sews that into the track that she's created on my head. So that whole process took a couple of hours, just the beading and sewing in the extensions. And the extensions were down to here, they were down to my boobs, That I mean I looked ridiculous. So then I had them cut to a length that I was more comfortable with, that didn't look so shocking and so different on me and then she styled it and she put a few layers in to blend it in with my existing hair and I think she did a fabulous fabulous job we did decide since my hair is on the short side see here's my hair since my hair is short right now we're gonna do another track or another row down a little bit lower back here in the back of my head and just put two more wefts on it just to give me a little bit more fullness down here at the bottom until my hair grows out and is the same length as the rest of the hair. Now the, the extensions can last as long as a year if you take good care of them. And by taking good care of them, it means you don't abuse them, you keep them untangled, you uh, sleep on a nice silk pillowcase so they don't get matted. You use salon quality shampoos and conditioners to keep them in good shape. That is taking care of them. So I already do those things. So I have every intention of these lasting for a year. And by then it's about time to get yourself some new hair. So when I go and have them moved up every 
seven weeks, I will just be paying for that to take them out and move them up and not for the new hair. So it won't be as much every time I get it done. But these extensions, you know, you care for them just like you do your own hair. You wash them, you dry them. I mean, they're stitched into my head, so they're not going anywhere until she takes them out. And they can be curled. She curled my hair with uh, a curling iron. I touched it up today because the waves had kind of fallen out after sleeping on it and everything. So very easy to care for. Um, and I love the look and I can't wait to see what some of the comments are <laughs> because I have some viewers who are not shy about expressing their opinion on my looks and my hair and my makeup. So can't wait to see what kind of comments I get on my extensions. So let me know what, what you think. Is it something you would like to do? Let me know. I know a lot of us have the same issue with thinning hair as we get older. If you have any other questions that I haven't answered, just leave them in a comment and I'll do my best to answer your questions. Okay, part two of this video, bras. Bras, bras, bras. <laughs> Bras are one of those things that we all need, we all have to wear, and nobody likes bra shopping. It can be so frustrating, and I've had a lot of you guys ask me for bra recommendations, so I thought I would do that in this video and show you guys what I'm wearing, why I like it, and of course I'll link them all in the description box down below so you can find them if you're interested along with my link to Rakuten so you can sign up and start earning cash back on your online shopping. So um, I've kind of got these in different categories and this is by no means all encompassing. It's just, you know, my top bras. So we're going to start with this bra by Wacol. And I'm not going to model these for you. Sorry. <laughs> I have linked this bra before and I'll link it again. These bras by Wacol, they are not inexpensive. They are in the $60 to $70 range. I usually buy mine um, in the department store, Dillard's Belk, somewhere like that. This is just a good, what I call an everyday bra. It's pretty much full coverage. It is like a t-shirt bra. The thing I like about it is it's not super padded and thick. It's got enough of a lining that, you know, it's for air conditioning protection, if you know what I mean. Um, but it's not going to add any extra bulk to your frame. And another nice thing that it has is this it's like a little sling on the inside. This is like really stretchy fabric and it's on the outsides of the cups and it just gives some more extra shaping and support. And this is a, an underwire bra. So, you know, they're hard to get away from. If you want good shape and support, I wish there was some kind of secret, but this is just the best for the best shaping. This is a great t-shirt bra to wear under anything clingy. It's very smoothing. Um, I don't spill out over the top of it. This is a size 34 double D. Uh, if you're spilling out over the top or the, out of the cup so you're bra, then you're wearing the wrong size. And I would suggest going to a good lingerie store or department store to get sized by someone who knows how to measure. But I can't remember the name of this model of bra, but it will be the first one linked down below. Okay, the second bra category, and this is very timely because it's summertime and we're, we're wearing all these strapless or sleeveless items that maybe a normal bra doesn't work with and I've had a lot of you guys ask me what kind of strapless bra do you recommend? Well here it is. This is my black one. I also have a nude one and it's in the laundry and this is kind of embarrassing. This one really needs to be in the laundry because I can see some uh, deodorant on here. So this will be going in the laundry as soon as I'm done filming this video. This bra is also by Wacol. This is called the Halo. And the thing I like about it, 
again, it is supportive and uplifting, but it doesn't have all that extra padding. You know, some strapless bras have so much padding that I feel like everything is like sitting out on a shelf <laughs> like this, or it's like shoved up under my chin. And I'm, I'm not trying to do that. I want something that's going to stay up, that's comfortable, and is going to look good under clothes and be supportive. And this is the winner. I have had one of these bras for years. I discovered it, gosh, I don't know, over 10 years ago. And I wore one out, and I have replaced it with two more. And I do tend to keep my bras a long time, especially strapless bras, because it's not something that gets worn every day. And I baby my bras. I wash them in delicate on cold, and I either hang them or lay them flat to dry. So my bras last a long time. But this, as you can see, it doesn't really have any lining. It's just this stretchy lace. But just the way this is made, it stays up. It's got a grippy um here at the top it's elastic but it's also got this grippy texture so it grips and it doesn't slip down and this again it's in the 50 60 ish dollar range and i will link it down below but this is my holy grail of strapless bras i've tried others nothing compares to this one I will buy this style again and again and again and try it. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Next category is the sports bra. This is another one that I have spent tons of money on and some of the sports bras out there, man, you talk about <laughs> feeling like torture devices. They are horrible. Um, I'm not a runner. I'm not doing anything super high impact. If I was, then I might need a more supportive bra like that but you've seen these before my favorite sports bras these are on amazon they come in a three pack for 28 dollars yes you can't beat that they are made with this very trendy little design with the crisscross straps in the back these are very much like um, the lululemon bras that are so popular but obviously a fraction of the price and you can pick your colors i have a pack that has a solid black gray and then a turquoise trimmed in black now these come with little uh, cups you know for modesty but they are removable there's a little slot here where you can pull those out for washing or whatever i just keep mine out um because I don't really need that in there and it's more comfortable and not as hot to me without those things in there. But to me, this is just the best deal going. Don't spend a ton of money on expensive sports bras. These are fabulous. And in this particular bra, I get the size large. Like I said, I'm a 34 double D. That's just to accommodate my cut size. Um, you know, if I was a C or smaller, a medium would probably be just fine. But because I'm double D, I have to get the large. But these are still very supportive. They're very stretchy, but do have a lot of compression. So if you're doing some kind of aerobics class or weight training or on the treadmill or elliptical or something like that, this is going to be just fine for you. Um, if you're doing something more high impact, you might need another bra, but this is just so cute. And if it shows out from underneath your top, who cares? Because it's cute and it's kind of designed to be shown anyway. So this is my favorite sports bra. Try it. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Okay, next category is best cheap bra. And y'all, I just discovered this bra in the last couple of weeks. And it's from Target, and it is their brand Auden. It's A-U-D-E-N. I guess that's how you pronounce it. I thought, you know, I need a cheaper bra to wear uh, and give my more expensive ones a break, you know. And I saw this, and it felt like a really nice t-shirt, kind of casual, everyday bra. And I thought, you know, I'll take it, take it home, try it out. If it doesn't work, I'll just return it. 
and I got my normal size 34 double D and um, brought it home and y'all this bra was just $9.99 yeah a $10 bra and I have been amazed <laughs> at the fit and quality of this bra now since I just got it it hasn't been washed a bunch of times or anything like that so I don't know how it's going to hold up in comparison to the Wacol bras but it's just ten dollars and it fits it is nicely shaped it is a tad bit thicker but it doesn't have that push-up padding it's just a nice lightly lined cup so it's like I said it's air conditioning protection um, and they come in a variety of colors and look at this this is the neatest thing I think all bra manufacturers should do this on the back of the bra on the straps there's a hook and a clasp so you can convert it to a racerback style bra without buying a separate clip without buying a separate bra it just does it for you all you got to do is clip it together like that and I was like sold that is the best idea I have seen in a long time and I got it in a $10 bra from Target so I will have this one linked down below too they're calling this the t-shirt bra and for $10 it's a great one just to have as a spare in your lingerie drawer or you know one of your main bras I found it to be very comfortable very supportive looks nice underneath clothes hey ten dollars can't beat it okay my next category is lounge bras so I have found this one and I have bought I can't tell you how many of these I just bought this one new at Walmart the other day it is by Hanes it's the Hanes signature wire free smooth comfort bra and now this bra it is stretchy it's got four-way stretch it's not got a ton of support I will tell you but it's got enough it's got something and as soon as I get home if I've been out all day long wearing a underwire bra the first thing I want to do is rip that thing off <laughs> and I'm sure you can relate and I change into one of these so this is fine for around the house for if I throw on a t-shirt and we go out to walk the dogs you know I'll wear this if I need something at the grocery store and I'm just running out real quick I can wear this but it's not something I would wear every day just because it's not enough support. But y'all, these are so comfortable. They are so stretchy. You don't feel like you have anything on. And sometimes I even forget that I have this on and I sleep in it. And it's that comfortable. I can't live without these. It is so wonderful. And I want to say, of course it depends on where you get it, but it's under $15 for sure. And they have them at Walmart and they have them in different colors and it do, it has regular uh, hooks in the back so you don't have to pull it over your head or anything like that and it's just regular straps and they're nice and wide so they don't dig in love 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 and again I wear these in a size large there's a little um, size guide on the back here that shows you what size to get in these based on your band and cup size but this is a fabulous bra I can't recommend it enough and I will be sure to have it linked down below for you guys if you get nothing else from this whole video get one of these you will love it and you'll be thanking me for it okay I hope you guys enjoyed this video like I said if you have any questions for me about my hair extensions or about bras or anything just put them in the comments down below and I'll do my best to answer all your questions thank you so much for joining me today it's always a pleasure and until I see you in my next video have a stylish day bye bye